Talk about this fog right here. Uh, here's our view. What is this? Downtown San Diego? I think so. Uh, this uh, oh, it's Del Mar. Okay, my bad. Uh, Del Mar, yeah, showing very cloudy conditions. Uh, it's very hard to make out where these cameras are right now because of just the low lying clouds. Marine layer came in thick and it is low again this morning, but the difference this morning will be many inland spots. You've been clear of this the past few mornings, not today. So El Cajon, you are now dealing with the fog. Same with Fallbrook. Ramona, though, that's impressive. Seeing 10 mile visibility there, a lot of times you get foggy and nobody else does, but not this morning. So it has seemed to escape right around you. But everywhere along the coast, the 5, the 15, uh, if you're headed on the 805, just know that it might be a rough ride, a slow going commute this morning. No reason to rush, as we've been saying on repeat <laughs> each morning. Dense fog advisory, this one now until 10 o'clock this morning. And you see how far inland it has expanded. So the Weather Service given that warning to pretty much all of San Diego, except for the mountains and the deserts. 58 degrees right now if you're right along the edge of the water and this afternoon temperatures actually won't be warming very much, especially not by the water. So you see right here 66 in Chula Vista and Imperial Beach. We're going to be about 10 degrees cooler today. Low 70s in Mira Mesa, La Mesa, 75 in El Cajon instead of the low 80s that many of you got to yesterday. 75 in Escondido and Ramona, 71 in Rancho Bernardo. So it should still feel pretty nice and comfortable. This is more seasonal. 68 in Oceanside, 62 in Encinitas. In fact, in Encinitas, your afternoon high will be the same temperature as what it is in the water. 62 degrees, 62 in Mount Laguna as well. 87 for Borrego Springs. Now taking a look at what's going on across our skies. We got this extra push of cloud coverage because of an area of low pressure that's way over here, but that's also why we're getting that onshore flow. So that's the direction this low pressure uh, does tend to cause onshore winds, sea breeze, keeping us cool. Let's show you that wind gust forecast. So for most of the day today, west to east winds instead of Santa Ana's. You won't have to hear me talk about that at least for a few more days and then moisture will come into the air. You're going to notice that push from the clouds and the winds and the relative humidity. All of that's going to be moving upwards. Here's a look at your surf forecast. One to three foot waves, but look at our tide 653 this morning all the way up to 6.4 feet. Low tide really low around two o'clock this afternoon. A good time for tide pooling when we go to low tide, not for high tide time. Friday and Saturday we have king tides that extra pull of the moon. Look at that 730 in the morning on Friday. We could get up to 6.8 feet. It's going to last early Saturday and Sunday morning as well. So our beaches low lying areas could see some minor flooding. Check out Sunday warmer weather returns. Same with Monday and the return of Santa Ana winds. So it's cool for the next three days and then we heat right back up again.